Today, live from the couch with Carolina Bermudez, John Elliott, and Lisa Kearney. <laughs> Wine and cheese and the That's mobile couch thing. and Alex Dennis are learning about the perfect pairings with your new best friend, Alex. Oh, oh behave. Buddy. He got a little closer after we heard your tease earlier, John. Going to get me in trouble, but my husband and I actually really enjoy wine and cheese, so he's at home watching. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Summer isn't over yet, and we still have some time for some picnics, and of course, wine and cheese is a perfect option. I'm here with Guido Kalin. If you are headed to a picnic, let's start with a flavorful cheese. Yeah, we got a couple of options here. One of the uh, first one I'd like to introduce to is Kalpach cave-aged Gruyere. Okay. This is one of the uh, most traditional cheeses made in Switzerland in very small village dairies made of raw milk. And uh, the special thing comes actually after it's the cheese is being made because then the cheese goes into Kalpach, which is the natural sandstone caves deep down under the Swiss Ooh. Alps. Okay. And in there you can imagine a hundred thousand wheels of cheese being aged under the close eye of our cellar masters. Okay. And the and cheese by, you know, during these 12 months it, it, it stays in there, it really develops a great, great flavor. So and one year worth to even make sure that the combination you've come up with works. What would you pair this with? Well, this one is a is a very robust cheese, so okay. you want to have a, cheese, uh, a wine that really stands up to it. So the okay. Pinot Noir, for instance, is a great, a great uh, cheese to go with. And what I love about this is you guys chose wines that are easily accessible. Barefoot, we all know the brand, you can get it across country. And Pinot Noir, as you were saying, is one of the lightest reds. It's a transitional wine, so that's really easily accessible. Do you mind handing me a piece? Let's see if these flavors come I trust you. I mean, I just really, it's an excuse for me to eat. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and start explaining about this other uh, trendier kind of a cheese. Yeah, we got one here, which is Swiss Alp which is a rind dropped cheese so this is really excuse me that was delicious you were absolutely correct i know i know <laughs> so the big trend right now is really rind dropped cheeses um this one here is wrapped with swiss alpine herbs mm. so what's the special thing about these herbs they're all grown above 3,000 feet above sea level in the uh, swiss alps and up there they really d develop uh, a lot of essential oils and you know some say this cheese even has special powers oh. so you want to try that one we do and as we try this I'm teasing something else that's coming up that you will absolutely want to see grilled oh. cheese and candlelight this really is turning into a picnic Ooh. go ahead joe show everyone at home all right i'm going to toss it back to you we're still eating so much more to come but i'll ah. tell you what you're looking at coming up what is going yeah. on over there Okay. Special powers, it. like what, you'd be able to fly? <laughs> you, I can all cheese. of a sudden see. <laughs> it's like the Boutros Boutros Gali of cheese. Hey, good, a good note is when you do a picnic with wine, the uh, stemless wine oh, yeah. glasses oh, are tea. Absolutely. That's yeah. a great tip. And always yeah. force your guests to talk while you're eating. It's <laughs> the group the girls can't stop talking about. <laughs> Yep. Good luck. That's it. Now, the mobile couch and Alex Dennis have been in Central Park all morning learning about pairing wine and cheese. So what's a good pairing for fall, Alex? Oh, I've got so many things for you, Carolina. But the first, how to make your marriage last a little longer? You grilled cheese over candlelight. You guys said there's a special name for this? Yeah, this is called raclette. Okay. And it guarantees something. Second date, you said. <laughs> Or eventually a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> or eventually a marriage. Now, what kind of cheese? This doesn't apply to all cheeses. No, this is a special cheese that ha it's called a raclette, and it has a special fat to moisture content, and you'll see that it doesn't pool or get greasy, and it comes perfectly clean out of the pan. And Jennifer, I didn't introduce you. She's oh, also a, a cheese expert. And we did want to thank Central Park for letting us here because typically you're not allowed to have alcohol or open flames. So thank you to them to giving us a special permit. But if in fact you were having a picnic <laughs> at home or wherever you were, how would you then select your cheese to pair with your wine? You guys had a very good tip for people at home. Well, generally the wine should stand up to the cheese so the stronger the cheese you also want to have a, a, a more robust uh, wine so flavor for both and you said a new trend now is pairing 
cheese with beer. Mm -hmm. And you said there's also a great thing. Cheese isn't just for adults, children as well. What was your suggestion with that? Oh, sure. Ch children love cheese as well. And if you don't want to give them alcohol, a sparkling cider or a juice pairs really well with these as well. Wonderful. Well, you guys have given us so many great tips, so many options. If they wanted to get these cheeses, where would they go? Oh, specialty cheese shops or a Whole Foods. And we also encourage people to really talk to the guy behind the counter because they are so knowledgeable. So you you get all the information from them. Perfect. Well, I'm going to toss it back to you guys because I have some eating to do. And I will say I've been sampling during the breaks. It's delicious. I will bring you some back. Promise. Yay. So, so good. Thank you, Alex. And that's what we always ask her is please let us eat oh, too. We'll save you some waffles too. Good <laughs> advice though. Talk to the people that work in yeah. these stores. They know so much. I'm going to talk Very to well. Alex because she just learned everything. <laughs> she just learned by trying it all.